early on in my life, I was very judgmental. Um, I was very judgmental towards those people who settle for mediocrity. Um, now, I come from a really underprivileged background, so I was always starving for opportunities. That's why I couldn't really understand um, how is it possible that you have all these opportunities, but you just don't take any advantage of any of, of, any of them? How is that possible? It made no sense to me. Then enough time passed, enough careers observed, um, I noticed something very interesting, and I want to share that with you. Um, what I observed allowed me to stop being very judgmental towards other people. What I observed was um, there's such a thing called lethargy cycle. Regardless of your privileges, your status in life or your career level, you can very well be stuck in that. It's a syndrome where you, you lack energy to take any drastic action. It's when your negative thoughts lead to lack of action and, and lack of action contributes to um, negative thoughts. So it's a negative feedback loop. And this continues until you hit the bottom. Sometimes you hit the bottom in a year, in a month, or sometimes in a decade, a slow career death. You hit your mid thirties or forties, then you realize that somewhere along this career journey, you steered off course. You ended up not where you wanted to be at the beginning, right? Big name employers are no longer interested in you. Your skills are not valuable. Uh, you don't have, you don't have major um, experiences, you don't have rich experiences, right? You're just not in demand. Now, why does that happen? Here's why. Bear with me just for two minutes. You get energy and more willpower when you achieve your goals. And conversely, when you don't achieve your goals, you lose energy, right? So in simple terms, every action has a consequence. If you take action and you win, you get energy. If you take action and you lose, you lose energy. Right? As simple as that. Uh, fairly simple to understand. I'll repeat once more because it's very important. You take action and you win, you get energy. With that energy, you can shoot for bigger challenges. You take action and you lose, you lose energy. So next time, you'll have less energy, less willpower, uh, less confidence, less motivation to take a similar action again. Right? It happens 100% of the time. It doesn't mean once you fail, you won't be able to pass in the second try. It just means that this time, the second time, you're more likely to fail compared to the first one, all else being equal, or you're going to need more resources to be able to, pay, to, to be able to pass. This applies to every aspect of your career. You get a promotion too early and you fail at that job, it's more difficult to recover your career instead of, for example, waiting for the right time, right? I'm sure you heard the phrase failure is just a step towards success. It's part of the process. That is true, but I think it is misunderstood. Failure, after doing all you can, giving your 100%, your blood, sweat, and tears, then sure, it'll be the greatest teacher ever. But failing after not doing your 100%, picking a battle where you have no chance of winning in the first place, is just plain stupid. You'll learn nothing from that experience, and, it, and, and it'll put you on track for lethargy cycle. After a few failures like that, you lack any energy to keep going. And then you'll turn on Netflix. You know, for example, you know that, you know, gaining that particular certificate, it'll help your career immensely, but you somehow never find the time for it, right? Lethargy cycle. You want to get a better job, but you never tried anything other than just click applications, you know, click, click, online applications. You know, these are all symptoms of lethargy cycle. So how do you break it? Let's break it. You need wins, quick wins. Your brain's priority is not to make you energetic or successful or even happy. I'll repeat, your mind doesn't care if you're successful or not. Your mind's or brain's priority is to keep you alive and pass your DNA to the next generations. That's it. So you'll have to trick your mind with wins. You need to get that winning sensation, however small that win is. You need to get it for the right hormones to be released. Um, it'll just be your uh, jump starter. You know, it could be getting a better job. Maybe not, not the one that you want in the end, but something better than what you currently have. You know, uh, or or getting a promotion, uh, getting that professional certificate that you've always wanted. Maybe not the greatest one, but still a certificate that will be useful. You need wins. With more wins, you'll get more energy. With more energy, you'll get more wins. 
See where I'm going with this? It becomes a positive feedback loop. You will just keep going up and up and up for many, many years, for decades. There's no stopping you. You just need to break that lethargy cycle first. See you next week.